Hello, and welcome to this Track Wrestling Help video. Here at Track Wrestling, we're committed to helping our tournament directors run great events, and one of the great features of running a tournament on Track Wrestling is the ability to do some customization of what displays on your brackets, as well as add a logo to your brackets to make it specific for your event. So the first thing that you'll want to do is log into your tournament as an administrator. From there, we'll go to the left menu and then to bracket types. You will have to make any changes or customizations that you want to make to every bracket type within your event. They don't carry over from bracket type to bracket type. So if you're like me in this tournament, you have several bracket types going, you will have to make these changes a few times. But we'll go ahead and go to my eight man bracket here and then click on this advanced settings wheel to go to the advanced settings page. So from here, you'll see that there is some information on half and full lines. We'll look at the bracket sample here in a second to show you what those mean, as well as the ability to add some HTML coding for the entire bracket. So we'll pull up the sample so we can see what this bracket looks like by default. And then these main lines right here, um, bouts one, two, three, and four, would be the full lines of text, and then everything else would populate the half lines of text. So that's where those two differentiations go. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple customizations here. If these aren't showing what you want them to show, uh, everyone has this default information in here. It's a little different on some bracket types, but you can make them aligned no matter how you want them using this great code bank we have down here. So every one of these is a different field that you can display. That's what the text is. And then after the colon, the number after the text is how many characters that you want that to display of that information. So the couple changes that I'm going to make here is I'm going to say that I want to add a first initial to the half lines just to make those a little easier to follow. So I'm going to grab that code from the code bank there and then I'm going to change this 10 to a 1 so it just shows that first initial and then hit save. One very important thing when customizing brackets is to hit save on every single one of these fields whenever you make a change to them. They're not dynamic, so they don't save across fields, so you do need to save every line as you make changes. The other thing that I'm going to do is I think I want to show the full team name instead of just the team abbreviation on the full line. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that team abbreviation code, and then I'm going to grab the team name code right here and paste that in. I think 25 characters is probably good. That should show the full team name for almost every school within my event. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save there. If we had a bracket built with this information, we could pull it up and we should see that it is updated now to show the fields that we have selected on these full and half lines. The other thing that I want to show you in this video is how you can add a logo to your bracket. So that happens down here in this HTML setting function. We'll want to go ahead and click Add HTML. If you're like me and you're not super familiar with how to add HTML or how to do HTML coding, we have this great help article here called Customize Brackets. This goes over everything that I'm talking about in this video as well as some additional information that you can edit on um, different things you can do to customize your brackets. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and grab this text, which is a sample code on how we can add a logo to our bracket and paste it into our event. Since we're adding a logo and not font size, um, font size is not super relevant here. I'm just going to do 12 by default. And then these horizontal and vertical align percentages are where on the bracket you want it to be positioned. So a 50% horizontal align would put it right in the middle, and 100% would put it on the far right side, a zero would put it on the far left side. That's where I want it. And then same situation with the vertical align, 50% would be in the middle, and then it would be zero at the top, 100 at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put that at 50 and so we can see what that looks like in the middle of the bracket. If this is your first time doing this or you're doing it on multiple bracket types, it might take you a couple times of adjusting those percentages to get it right where you want it. That's totally okay. You can change those as many times as you need to to get that positioned exactly where you want it on the bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and add this code in. When we look at this code, we can see that it has this paste URL here text. That's where we'll want to put the URL of our logo. 
If you don't already have an online version of your logo that you can grab a URL from, we have the ability to add that from the setup menu here if you go to File Uploads. I already have my logo updated, so we'll just click on that to grab it. But if you didn't already have that, you can go to Upload File, and then you could just go to Choose File, and you could go through the steps to upload the file that you want, and then get the URL here from the File Upload setting. But since I've already uploaded my Track Wrestling logo here, we're just going to copy that, and then we will put it here into the text. We'll remove out the paste URL here, and then paste in that logo and then as I mentioned before we'll have to hit save to make sure that that updates and then we can go ahead and take a look at the sample bracket and we should see it update with that logo there so in this case I'd probably want to either move it up or down a little bit so it's not um, in the middle of the third place winner there so I'll go ahead and show you how we could make that change I'm going to update the vertical align here to 10. We'll hit OK. And then we'll pull up the sample again. And then we should see that position update. And that looks perfect for this bracket. And so we'll call that good. If you have any questions about how to customize your brackets, that help article that I mentioned is a great first way to start. In order to get there, just go to the support tab in the upper right hand menu of the website and then just search customize brackets. And it should be the first result that displays. If you have any questions that aren't outlined in that help article or something else regarding your event, you can always scroll down to the bottom of the support page and click contact support, which will put you in touch with our support team who is glad to assist with any questions you may have. Thank you for watching this track wrestling help video. I hope that this helps you customize your brackets and run a great event for your next tournament. If you have any other questions, as I said, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our team is glad to assist you. Thanks again.